Okay. So, let us look at some more problems. Okay. We will just identify some of those things that we know. Let us take the 3 bar link. So, let us say I have something like this. So, the 3 bar link pinned over here. Let us say the dimensions are given. Uh, the dimensions are given. So, let us say L, this is A. So, L A B is given, this is C, this is D. Let us say the angle is given here, okay. this is L B C. Let us say this is the angle is given. So, you can find out the total. Now, given this kind of a problem let us say I am given that the angular velocity of this is omega a b. Okay. Let us say I need to find out the angular velocity of b c and angular velocity of c d that is the problem about. Okay. How will I go about doing it? All right. Now remember angular velocity of l b c is related to velocity of b and velocity of c. Angular velocity of c d is related to since the velocity of d is 0, it is related to c. All right. So, let us look at it from that point of view. I have like this, this is a. Okay. Remember, this is pinned to the fixed frame which means what is the direction of velocity over here? The direction of velocity is already known to be like this. All right. This is omega a b. Okay. Now, the other is this, this is b. Do I know the velocity of this b? Yes, because this velocity of b is known, this velocity is known. What is this velocity? It is omega times this length all right the direction is known so this is known to me looking at cd again this is equal to 0 velocity of this is equal to this. this i can now spot supposing this is the angular velocity of cd then i know the direction of the velocity at c should be like this how about this point? This, since this point and this point are the same, this also has to have a direction which is perpendicular to C D. Okay. Do I know the direction of C D? The answer is yes, which means the direction of V C is already known. Okay. Okay. What do I do not know? Since omega C D is not known, omega C D times the length is not known. Okay. Once I know omega C D, since I know the length, I can find out the magnitude of E C. Okay. Now, looking at this C B, okay, I know V C is equal to V B plus omega of B C cross R B C. V B is a direction. Supposing I need to find out only this component, this component is in what direction? That is very simple. That component is along this direction. Remember, I am talking about component of V C. Component of V C is this, which is omega B C times R B C. Okay. Direction is along this. The rest of it has to be like this alright. V B is known, now this is perpendicular to it. So, if I have to find this direction, it is the component of V C along this direction that I need to find out. Once I do that, then I can use this relationship so to find out omega B C. Okay. Remember, there is direction known here, magnitude not known magnitude is related to omega C D. In the other, if I take two different directions, 
I can write two different equations. Okay, one direction will involve omega B C, the other will not. Okay, the other which will not will help me solve for the magnitude of V C, and therefore I can solve completely. As simple as that. What did I do here? I could find out the direction of this point C, velocity direction of this point C, velocity direction of point B. Knowing this, it was possible for me to find out the other quantities related to that. All right. 